Hi everyone. If you're watching this video, that means you're getting ready to prepare your cakes for the Layered Cakes 101 workshop. Before you get started, one of the first things you'll need to know how to do is how to properly prepare and grease your pans for baking, if you didn't know how to do so already. In your cake kit, you should have received a pair of six inch cake pans, like these. In your baking instructions, I mentioned two of my favorite methods for preparing and greasing cake pans. The first is to use a non-stick baking spray, like this, or this, and the second is to use butter and flour. Now, let's talk about the first one. This one's pretty easy, it's a spray, but there is one thing to remember. You wanna look for something that specifically says baking spray or pan release. Not all of the sprays out there are specifically for baking. Some of the cooking sprays will coat your pan and allow it to um, have a non-stick ability, but not all of them will easily release your baked good or your cakes after using them. So you wanna make sure you have a baking spray or pan release specifically. And again, these are very easy. You just shake, spray, and put an even coating. And I already did this one over the sink so it wouldn't get all over the counter. The second method is to use good old butter and flour. So right here in this bowl, I have some softened unsalted butter. If you happen to only have salted butter, that's okay too. And some all-purpose flour in this bowl. So to grease my pans and prepare them for baking, I'm going to take a little bit of butter and put it on a paper towel. Just enough for a good grease, like that. And I'm going to take my pan and rub the butter all over. And see, I'm just getting all over the edges and the bottom, and I'm making sure to concentrate on the crevice. Get a little bit more butter. Like that. So it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but it has been evenly greased with a layer of butter, softened butter. Now, the next step is to take your flour. You don't need much. I don't have a specific measurement, maybe one to two tablespoons, and you're just going to sprinkle it into your pan, like so, and then you're going to tap it to try to move the flour all over your greased pan, like so. This reminds me of putting glue on a craft and sprinkling glitter over it or confetti and trying to get the confetti or the glitter to stick to the glue parts only. That's the same thing that you're doing here, just with butter and flour. And you'll notice that I'm tilting it to make sure that I get the size of my pan. So I'm rotating it and tapping to get a good press. And I will have excess flour. You'll see right here, there's flour pulling at the base in the, at the bottom but I will just tap it out tap out that excess and there you go buttered and floured and prepared for baking both methods work it depends what you have available and what you want to try out or what you're already used to there are other methods out there but like I said these are my two go-to ones that I felt like that I wanted to mention in the baking instructions have fun.